When I was little, I never really had the right shoes or the right haircut or the right clothes. And so I spent a lot of time just trying to, to fit in. And, uh, and now as an adult, I'm sort of taking control of what it means to uh, fit in by doing stuff that represents who I am and trying to be true to what my background is, whether that's my cultural background or um, the country that I'm from or my heritage. I try to take all those influences I have in my life and merge them together. I recognize that whether I'm doing my art or doing my activism around race and identity or my work in education, my goal is always the same. And that's just to get people to think about who they are as people. I just want today, we're gonna to do all this fun stuff, but my goal is really to get you to think about who you really are as a person. My work got started by accident. Uh, one day while I was watching TV, I was getting a little bit bored, so I reached down and picked up a plain gray pair of Vans that I had, and I personalized them. And when people saw the shoes, uh, the message that was embedded in the shoes resonated with them. And because so many people liked them, I was encouraged to do more and more shoes. And that was how uh, Eighth Generation got started. And very quickly I realized that I could use artwork as a way of telling people that you can merge all the different influences that you have in your life to create one unified identity. Also ich finde es schön, weil er einem auch viele Tipps gibt, was man vielleicht anders machen könnte oder wie man auch generell zeichnen könnte. Und er halt auch uns gar nicht einschränkt bei den Ideen. Ich glaube, das ist eine gute Erfahrung, immer seine Gedanken auf den Schuh zu machen und ihn so zu gestalten, wie man ihn gerne tragen würde. Und eben durch die, so, dass man eine kleine Einschränkung hat, kann man wirklich seine Ideen erlösen. Ja, ich finde es total toll. Ich äh, wusste gar nicht, dass, äh, dass ich auch Kuchen malen kann. Und ähm, so allgemein, so mit Farben malen, war mir im Moment jetzt noch nicht so, dass ich das dass ich gedacht habe, das kann ich oder so. Merke ich, ähm, so, dass es eigentlich richtig viel Spaß macht. Und I grew up in the Nooksack tribal community, which is in Northwest Washington. And from British Columbia down to Oregon, along the coast is the Coast Salish cultural group. And the tribes along uh, the coast in that area all speak a similar language and have similar cultural characteristics, one of them being art. And so Coast Salish art has a lot of really distinctive characteristics, uh, mostly because it's based on uh, relief carving. So a lot of times you see uh, two-dimensional native art that is done in the negative space, so everything but the design is colored in. Um, there's also a strong form line that goes throughout the design and everything is connected. Also, uh, with Coast Salish art, a lot of our work was done on things that are utilitarian. Like for example, we did art on the stuff that we used on a daily basis, like bowls, spoons, doors, um, 
you know, moccasins of the things that you use on a daily basis. So in doing my work on skateboards, shoes, t-shirts, other things that we use, I feel like I'm continuing that tradition. Um, so although my work is very contemporary, a lot of the values are very traditional. Uh, eighth generation is a reference to an intertribal value called seven generations. And so what that says is that um, in living your life and making decisions, you should consider the consequences of your decisions seven generations into the future. And also in looking for guidance and making your decisions, you can look seven generations into the past. And so for me, by naming my business eighth generation, it was sort of like a shout out to those previous seven generations who um, by virtue of their hard work and sacrifices set me up in a position to be able to do a lot of the cool stuff that I'm doing right now.